yeah, today we're gonna go over the top five baits for ice fishing in lake trout. We'll start off with bait number five, and that's the uh, dead stick. So today we're gonna use herring. Generally, I'd use Cisco if I was in a different location, but herring's legal here, Cisco's not. Yeah, the dead stick is definitely a big fish technique. It's worth taking the extra time. I usually wait when my shack's warming up here. I'll usually go set up my dead stick just a little bit shallower, a little bit deeper, depending on the structure we're fishing on. And yeah, we'll just sit all day. If you only catch four or five, six fish jigging in the shack, but you get one or two bonus fish outside, it's always worth setting up that extra line just in the chance that you could hook into a two giant. So we're gonna get out there, we're gonna drill a hole, set up the iFish Pro with a herring on it, and we'll let her soak for the day and hopefully we get hooked up. <laughs> Yeah, we just got our flag set there, so hopefully it pops here shortly, but we'll get back in the shack and start checking up some lake trout. Well, we got a flag already. Yeah. Let's make sure we got our pliers here. We got all our tools and we're going to a flag. Bump board should be right here. Grab the camera. Feels like there might be a fish on here, but it's not running with it now, so just trying to see. Guessing I probably dropped this bait. Oh, there's a fish on there. We're just gonna reel in and set this up. There we go, first fish of the morning. Herring on the bottom, they yeah, were hooked up. That fish took it out, <laughs> picked up off the bottom, took it out to the deeper water, and then turned around and came back a little bit. But, feels like a decent fish here. Got a little bit, a little bit of weight to it. Like I said, we're only fishing in the boat. 60 feet of water here. It's coming up fairly easy now. Yeah, we just started fishing in the shack there. And sure enough, looked out, flag up. Yeah, like I said, make sure you always got your tools. We got our bump board here. We got our uh, pliers right beside the ice here. So the leader just caught on the ice. So he's gonna be getting pretty close here. Oh yeah, beauty lake trout. Super fat. Get this fish right back in the water. Yeah, our number five bait is a Cisco or a herring. We're using herring today because we're out on Cold Lake. But yeah, dead stick is kind of a must to set up. I usually get my camera gear rolling and then I go set up my dead stick while I'm waiting for everything to warm up. And yeah, it's definitely underrated. It's more of a big fish bait, so don't expect a ton of action off of it, but you can get hooked up to a few throughout the day. It's not uncommon to have, you know, two to five bites a day on there, a couple false flags, but yeah, just if you're jigging in your shack and you know, you're getting three, four fish and you know, you kick in one or two bonus fish and it is a definitely a big fish bait. So you can get a lot more big bites on doing it that way. And yeah, that can really make your day from an awesome day to a unreal day or a mediocre day to a really good day so yeah i always take my time set the iFish pro up 
kind of see if you can get any fish crews on the bottom that are willing to eat some of the bigger baits off the bottom and yeah i got another video i'll link it above just on tips and tricks for the iFish Pro, just so I don't have to go over it all again in this video. But yeah, we'll get at her. Hopefully we get a one cruising by that will wants to eat. I was just dropping us bait down and yeah, like look at this. It's just, line's just peeling off my reel here. Main camera's on the shack, but we'll just go off the head camera. It's just after catching that last fish. So we'll just reel up and set into this fish right away. There you go. Hooked up. Yeah, we we're just dropping that herring to the bottom, and all of a sudden it just started peeling off my rod. Fish must have seen it falling and came and picked it up. Doesn't feel too big. We're at the leader here. Trying to go for another summer, he comes. Easy, come on. That hook's just on the top of his mouth and it's barbless, we'll just pop it out, falls out like that, yeah. So, little guy, get right back in there. There he goes, back to the bottom. We'll go get another hair and get hooked up again here. There you go. Oh, one just smoked us there as we were jigging. Turn off the cedar here. Feels like a little bit better of a fish yours. Woo there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. This fish is putting on a show here. Just got back inside after Landing that fish on the iFish Pro and just get another bait out of the cooler and I looked over and sure enough there was a fish all over us. Picked up my rod and we just got smoked. It's coming up pretty easy now. The leader here so just under the ice. Can get his head popped up here. <laughs> yeah, absolute beauty. Barbless hook, so they should pop out fairly easy. I like to stick with barbless when we're just planning on catching and releasing all day. But yeah, beauty fish. Got it right back in the water here. <clears throat> All right, bait number four is a rattle bait. If you guys have been following along, you guys see me using a Manitoba. We had some luck with them out there. It's bait that's slowly growing on me that I use more and more now. Rattle bait gives off a nice rattle. You can hear it from a long ways away. So when you're working a nice flat, it definitely calls a fish in and kind of triggers some more bites and great bait for chasing lake trout. A little bit smaller of a profile. You can get a few bigger ones, but yeah, this one's from Bite Right Lures. Got a white body, yellow back. Those are my favorite colors for lake trout, as you guys know. So yeah, we'll drop it back down there and hopefully get hooked up again soon. There we go. That one just shot up right off the bottom and smoked us again. Feels like just a little fish, but yeah, nice aggressive bite. It's again smoked us on the rattle bait. We're fishing just a couple feet off the bottom. Trying to wait for one to make a move at us, and that one just didn't give us a chance. Just flew right up and smoked us. But like I said, feels pretty small. At the leader here, so he's just under the ice. There you go. Comes up the hole here. Barbless hooks pop out nice and easy. There's a quick look at this little guy and we're gonna be right back down there. Ooh. Yeah, this rattle bait. Been off to a hot start here this morning. Couple of fish right off the bat. We'll get right back down there and hopefully we get another one. Oh, 
I fish is someone right back down there. There's another one coming up to investigate it. Well, uh, hopefully we can get down there. We'll be able to see our bait falling and think it's something that the other fish dropped. Starting to come across the screen. We'll just pay close attention here. He's coming to check us out maybe. Oh yeah, here he comes, he's chasing. There we go, just like that. That fish seen that other one dropping down after we released it. And he thought that was a piece of bait that the other fish had killed and was just floating down there and he just came around and smoked it. Yeah, what a hot bite here so far this morning. The leader is just under the ice, just another little guy. Easy. There we go. Yeah, just T-bone that bait. Both hooks are right in the front of his mouth here. Need the pliers to pop that last one. Oh, there we go. So little guy, we'll get him right back down there. There we go. It's going off to the right here. Let's see. Kind of just lazily chasing. We'll go work the bottom quick, see if we can keep them around. Sometimes it can trigger a bite off the bottom. Looks like a somewhat decent fish, but he definitely likes chasing it down. So we'll just work the bottom here, see what happens. Oh. Definitely picked it up there for a second. There we go. Yeah, that's one way to get him bite. Or he's in a hair jig, so you can finesse him off the bottom like that. It's a good way. If they're not going to bite on the way up, sometimes you can just flutter it off the bottom and get hooked up. He picked it up the first time and he knew he kind of liked that action. And then sure enough, the second time he came right at it. He had her picked up when I lifted up. There's just weight on there, so he's about 30 feet down right now. He's giving some pretty decent head shakes, but he's not pulling too much drag, so it's not a super big fish. Let's see on the sonar there is gassing off, which is good. These fish come from the deep like that. Lake Cheddar are one of the only fish that can burp and release the air. He's kind of dogging us here right under the ice. There's the leader, so he's just under the ice here. <laughs> this fish got another big chunk of meat. Hang oh, he's got a bourbon hanging out of his mouth. It's a little bourbon. He's hungry fish. <laughs> yeah, check this So Get this hook popped out. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Big old bourbon hanging out of his mouth. But yeah, super hungry, but yeah. Beauty fish here on Cola Lake. Yeah, got a cool watching that bird hanging out of his mouth like that, but we'll get him right back in the water here. There he goes. Back to the, yeah, there he goes down on the screen there, but yeah, that's why I love fishing. You just never know what's gonna happen. That fish was feeding on burbot, clearly. That's why I like those greens and chartreuses. They give off some of those burbot colors like that. And yeah, that hair jig picked him up right off the bottom. Clearly he likes to feed on the bottom, picking off those burbot like that. But yeah, we'll get right back down there. Hopefully we can get hooked up again. Yeah, this is bait number three. It's a hair jig. This is a meathead by TC Moto. It's got the glow fiber on the back. As you know, I love green. I love glow fiber. So that's what we're working today. And yeah, it's a bait that you can work higher in the water column, convince some fish to chase. It's also something that you can finesse near the bottom. If the bite's really slow, you can tip it with a tiny piece of sucker belly just to kind of add a little extra scent down there, give them something to go in on. But yeah, as you've seen in that first fish, we worked the bottom nice and slow and sure enough, that fish hooked up. Those fish are feeding on burbot, so it's a great color, great combination just to work the bottom like that sometimes. And yeah, it can provide some pretty nice fish. So we'll get back at her here and see if we can get hooked up with another one. Oh, he did, there we go. So he did come off the bottom, I didn't quite see him right off the bat but he got us so 
same thing. These fish are just one in right off the bottom. The fish lazily chased us up, and we kind of worked the bottom, got them to bite. But like we've seen that last one, they're feeding on burbot, probably somewhere close by. So working the bottom is never a terrible idea if there is an active burbot pre-spawn going on. Fish is dogging us a little bit just under the ice here. At the later, so get them coming up. They're decent fish. Look out! There's a quick luck here. Get it right back in the water. Yeah, number two is this one bait. This one's by TC Moto. It's got the same hyperglow formula that they have in all their tubes. I absolutely love it. I'm a big glow guy, big chartreuse guy, as you can tell. But yeah, this swim bait, when you're reeling up, it paddle tail kicks off lots of vibrations, gives those fish something to chase. It's a little bit of a smaller profile being a four inch bait. And yeah, those lake trout absolutely crush it. As you've seen in some of my previous videos, sometimes I like to throw that swim bait as a trailer on a hair jig, just to something a little different. Adds a little different profile to your bait. You can also add them to your tube jigs. Done that before in the summer and had some really good success with that. But yeah, we'll get this bait in the water and hopefully get hooked up here soon. Got one working in off the right hand side here. Just gonna try to stay above it so they can see us. Well, look at this one fly in. There we go. Man, that was an aggressive bite hole. Yeah, this quick move midday seems to have paid off so far. We got a few aggressive fish coming in. This one doesn't feel very big at all, but yeah. Just a little guy. Pop that hook out. Quick looks, pretty lively. Right back in the water. Get her bait back down there. Still fish in the area. Hopefully we can hook up with a bigger one. Oh, there's another one. I just took a swipe at us on the way down. I'll just reel up, see if we can get him to chase. There we go. Just like that. Hooked up to a couple of fish here. Number, fish number three on the swim bait. Just under the ice here. Super lively, these fish are super pumped up. Right back in the water. Come on, chasing up here. There we go. It's like a little bit heavier of a fish, but. Not quite strong enough to go on a big run here. Dry. This is dogging us here. I'll just let him tire himself out. Turn down my drag a little bit. All right, I think he kind of gave up for the most part here. Literally just under the ice here. <laughs> nice lake trout. Skinny long one. Oh, 
hooks just caught right in the bone there. There we go. Here's a quick look. Back in the water. Fish up high here. We'll just reel up. See if we can. Well, he's streaking across the screen here. Oh, shoot, we missed him. He didn't get the hooks. Let's drop, see if we can get his attention again. Oh, he's coming back. There we go, hooked up. Doesn't feel super big. It was a high flyer, super hungry fish. It's right under the ice here. There we go. Hook popped out. So we can get this as a quick look. High flyer. Get him back in the water. There we go. There comes one. Missed me the first time. There we go. Hooked up. Yeah, super aggressive bite, that fish. See it gassing off on the screen here. It's good, like chowder. Can burp up its bubbles there so it doesn't get all bloated. The leaders are just under the ice. Just a little guy. Super skinny fish. Give you guys a quick look. Right back in the water. My number one bait for Lake Trout is probably no surprise. It's probably one of the most popular baits, but it is a tube jig. This is a 401 from TC Moto, my favorite walleye chartreuse color. As you know, I love this color. If you've been watching a few of my previous videos, you know that it's definitely a confidence bait. I used it in Manitoba. Got a 40 inch fish there. I used it up in Saskatchewan. Got a few 40s and some high 30s up there, but 100% my most confident bait right now. Big fish bait. This 401 has an extra wide gap hook for those bigger fish. Easier to keep them buttoned. But yeah, I love the hyper glow as well. And yeah, you can work this bait near the bottom. You can get them to chase. You can kind of work this bait how you want. You can tip it with bait if you want, if it's slower. And yeah, just awesome bait, but we'll get it down there and hopefully we get hooked up soon. Couple of fish down there. Was, there we go. Right off the bottom. Just drop down that tube jig. See if we can Kind of weed through some of these smaller fish and find a bigger one. So it doesn't feel super big. Come on, pretty much straight up here, just under the ice, we're at the leader. Another nice healthy fish here. Hook out, quick look, right back in the water. Let's drop down, I got another one chasing again. There we go. Well, this is just absolute chaos this afternoon. Just giving a little pull here. There you go. Here we get a little run there. See another one coming up to check it out on the screen there. Actually, like a whole school and now there's another three fish on the screen but this fish kind of gave up now after that first little fight Set the leader so he's just under the ice here just hooked right in the tip of the mouth on that tube quick luck another beauty right back in the water Get that tube right down there. See if we can capitalize on some of those other fish. It's been 
pretty much crazy action since we got over here. So just keep keep her baits moving and hopefully get hooked up with some more. There you go. There's a high flyer here. I'll just reel up. See if we can get his attention. Oh yeah, look at him fly in. There we go. Hooked up. Yeah, those high flyers, man, they sure like to come in aggressive and eat. This one feels decent. A little bit of weight, but then two crazies coming up pretty easy. The leader here is so just under the ice. Another decent fish. Pop that tube out. Guys, a quick look. He's burping like crazy. Get him right back down there. There you go. Right off the bottom. We wouldn't chase up, so it's dropped right to the bottom and. This one's going a little squirrely here. But yeah, just dropped to the bottom and bounced a few times and he picked it right up off the bottom. This one's just wrapping himself up on the way. The leader here, so just under the ice. Hook out, and there's a quick look, another beauty. Get him right back in the water. Oh, shoot. That one hit us right on the bottom there. There we go. That one hit right on the bottom as we were dropping back down. There's another fish nearby. Sure enough, so I went right into the mud and picked it up. Doesn't feel too, too big, but yeah, it's been a little bit slower here. I cycle through my baits again and yeah, we went back to the tube and sure enough, that's what we got hooked up with. The leader here says so just under the ice. Here it comes. Hooks out. Wherever those hooks pop out pretty easy, but give you guys a quick look. Right back in the water. There he goes. Yeah, I'll get that tube right back down there and hopefully get hooked up again. Got one chase in here. There we go, right off the bottom, came flying up. Yeah, we're just pretty, getting pretty close to wrapping up the day here. Still just finessing that tube and picking off the odd fish. But yeah, he's coming up pretty easy. We're at the leader here, so he's just under the ice. Yeah, just a little guy. There you go, hooks out. There he goes. Nice and small, flip himself over in the hole, but yeah, I'll drop down. We got like five minutes left. Maybe we'll get one more bite before we had to pack up. Go and chase him up here. There we go. Hooked up. Another fish on the tube jig here to wrap up the day. It's just getting ready to record an outro. And I looked down and this fish was flying across the screen right out my tube. So this fish, well, officially wrap up our day here doesn't feel very big but we're at the leader here so just under the ice there you go nice healthy like trout yeah 
burping like crazy. Get that tube out. Give you guys a quick look. This fish is going to wrap up our day today. Get him right back in the water. Yeah, like I said, that fish is going to wrap up our day today. Had an absolute blast out here chasing lake trout, going over my top five baits with you guys. Started off the day with the iFish Pro. Got a couple on that. One was a false flag that we're just dropping down and the fish picked it up on the way down. Super fun. Yeah, then we moved in the shack and went over our, some more jigging baits and yeah, absolute blast. We caught that one fish with a burbot hanging out of its mouth with the hair jig right off the bottom. Just goes to show you that those fish are feeding on those burbot and yeah, super cool stuff like that happens. That's why we come fishing. You just never know when it happens to you. You never know when you're going to have an awesome day like today. We absolutely hammered the fish. Lots of aggressive chases, lots of finicky bites on the bottom. It's kind of a good mixture between a couple on the iFish Pro. And yeah, just an absolute blast of a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, and hopefully you guys find these top five baits useful on your next trip out here and hopefully get hooked up with a few more fish. If you guys like this content, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the water next time. <laughs>